بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم سعید ویس احمد فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف آئی ٹی ہزار یونیورسٹی ان ریسنٹ ایئرس ڈی فیک ویڈیو ہیز رائزڈ اے سگنیفیشنٹ کنسرنز ریگارڈنگ دیر پوٹینشیل امپیکٹ آن سوسائٹی پالیٹکس اینڈ انڈیویژل پرائیویسی ڈی فیک ویڈیوز کین بی یوزڈ فار ویریس منیشیز پرپسز سچ ایز اسپریڈنگ مس انفارمیشن ڈی فیمنگ انڈیویژل کریٹنگ پولیٹیکل اینڈ پروڈیوسنگ رینچ پرانگرافی اور ٹو بلیک مین پیپل ایوری سیکنڈ ڈے فیک اسکینڈل آف سیلیبریٹیز اینڈ پولیٹیشینز ور پبلشڈ Also, criminals and blackmailers can use deepfakes for their benefits and to blackmail people. Considering the above mentioned problems, we develop a system using deep learning. We develop and evaluate deepfake video detection by using deep learning techniques like ResNex and LSTM. We have achieved deepfake detection by using transfer learning where the pre-trained ResNex CNN is used to obtain feature vector. In this, we used a data set of deepfake detection challenge. Basically, we have three types of data sets, which is first forensic plus plus, the second one is celebrity defect, and the third one is deep fake detection channel data set, which is the latest and the more largest data set. But it needs a high computational power to use our R data set. So that's why we just use a chunk of data set in our project. To do this, we used Python as programming language and Google Colab as IDE. Visual Code and Jupyter Notebook will also be used as IDE but due to number of challenges facing while using them and due to low computational power we used Google Colab. Multiple numbers of libraries such as Torch, TorchFusion, NumPy, CV2, Face Recognition, Pandas, JSON, SecretLearn and some other libraries we used in our project. For training the model first we pre-process the dataset and then train the model on pre-processed dataset by using DressNex 50 of the to-do cross for dimension. After model training, we used LSTM for sequence learning and video classification, simply to predict that whether the video is real or fake. The aims and objectives of our project is to identify manipulated or defect videos, to resolve authenticity, to reduce misuses, better trust, countermeasures, and to improve technology. Our approach for detecting the deep facts will be a great contribution in preventing the spread of deep facts over the internet. Now let's see how our project works and detect real or fake videos. So we are on our laptop screen and this is the interface of Google Collab where we have done our project. Let's run the project and see how it detects deep fake videos. It will take some time because it requires high computational power to run and execute while our system is not enough for that. Okay, so you can see that it has detected the video and saying that this video is fake. So now let's check out another video and see what it has to say about it. Here in Google Drive I have a data set of some real and some fake videos. But here, these first four videos I have are real. Let's try one of them and see what it says about that video. So for this, we will copy the name of this video from here. And uh, then in Google Colab, we will paste that name which we have copied from that video here. Okay, so let's run it again and check what it says about this video. Mm. Again, we need to wait a little bit. Okay, so it detected the video and uh, saying that this video is real. So this is a system we have created which analyzes the video in such way and tells whether the video is real or fake. Our future work is to make an interface with which any users without technical knowledge can interact easily. And for this we need a high computational power which is not yet available with us. And the second one is also dependent on computational power. Our next step is to train the model on big and oral dataset. Winface for plus plus celebrity defect and defect detection challenge dataset as our own. 
which will then more responsive and confidential. If these shortcomings and problems we facing are fixed, so we are also able to develop a more responsive and more reliable system. Thank you very much.